Hello everyone, uh, in our last class we have discussed hypodermic needle theory or magic bullet theory. It is also known as uh, uh, strong effect theory where uh, that theory proposes that there is a strong and direct effect of mass media on the people. In today's class let us discuss other two theory which proved that there is limited uh, effect of mass media on the people. Uh, the two topics which we are going to discuss today are two step flow model as well as multi step flow model. So, this model uh, the first of all I will take two step flow model. Uh, this model is introduced by Paul Lazarfeld, Bernard Berlosen and Hazel Gordon in their book People Choice in 1944 and this uh, theory was redefined by Paul Lazarfeld and uh, uh, Cards in 1955 and they have come up with a model. So, the study initially the study focused on the process of decision making during a presidential election campaign in America. So, they wanted to find an empirical evidence for the direct influence of media messages on uh, voting intentions because they wanted to test the direct influence of media or strong influence of media on the people. But the surprisingly study revealed that the informal and personal contacts have high hand over the media influence on the people and people admitted that their fears or their, the opinion leaders they have influenced more than the mass media and uh, their exposure to radio or newspaper has a little impact on their uh, voting decisions. So, if you can see uh, the model of two step uh, flow here. Uh, Karts and Lazarfeld developed the two step flow theory of mass communication where uh, you can see uh, there is mass media and mass media disseminate information to the uh, people. So, the big circle indicates uh, the opinion leader they are quite influential among the public and then uh, the opinion leaders again transfer their message to the uh, people or they are considered as opinion followers. So, information from the media uh, moves in two distinct stages. The first uh, the individuals or opinion leaders receives messages from the mass media and then it is disseminated by opinion leaders to the opinion followers. Opinion leaders pass on that info, uh, information with their own interpretation in addition to the actual media content. So, there is a concept of personal influence here. So, the personal influence is the process intervening between media's direct messages and the audience ultimate reaction to the message. So, so, there is a chance of diluting the message which are received from the media. Uh, the opinion leaders are quite influential here uh, in ge getting people to change their attitude and behavior and they are quite similar to those they uh, influence. The two step flow theory has uh, improved uh, people's understanding of how the mass media influence the decision making of the people. And the theory actually refined the ability to predict the influence of mass media on audience behavior. So, it helped actually explain how certain media campaigns are successful and why certain media campaigns are failure in altering the audience attitude and behavior. This theory is helpful in advertising public relation uh, field. The two step flow theory gave way to multi step flow theory in later period. So, if you look at the contemporary debate, so in the times of digital social media, the more than six decades old theory sparks much new interest now because there are like massive databases are being used to send tailor, messa tailor made messages to the individual. So, it lead to the discussion on the idea of one step flow of communication or hypodermic needle theory because uh, the social media they send messages directly to the people. So, there is no like middleman between media and the people. So, there is a debate over existence of one step law of communication. But again there is another school of thought uh, which have certain empirical study by other scholars. They have found that modern social media platform like Twitter and other uh, you know platforms exhi exhibit clear evidence of existence of two step flow of communication. 
uh, many media social media users they obtain their news and information from the celebrities or opinion leaders they actually uh, they uh, have received messages from mass media and then these opinion followers receive messages from opinion leaders and then they again spread the messages to the uh, public or uh, their followers so this proves that there is again existence of two step flow model but again there is one more school of thought which put forward certain complex uh, information flow that is known as multi step flow model uh, which say that there is multi directional flow of information in today's mass media so now let us see what is this multi step flow of uh, information for the studies on opinion leaders and two step uh, model theory led to the modification of uh, two step flow model uh, and uh, they have put forward uh, forward interesting multi step flow theory uh, it was observed that the influence uh, can be uh, multi directional and it is not necessarily be downwards or vertical so it cannot be top to bottom flow of information there may be other uh, direction in message flow so if you see the model multi step flow communication theory there is mass media in one way mass media sends messages to opinion leader and then the opinion receiver receive messages from opinion leader in another way mass media directly sends messages to information receiver and again the like minded people they debate each other discuss each other and sometimes opinion receiver can send their opinion back to the opinion leaders and then opinion leaders to the mass media so there is feedback process in this uh, process of communication uh, the people could write to the media suggesting requesting appreciating or criticizing uh, things or events uh, the influence could also be peer to peer where audience with similar opinion and similar cultural background and similar ideology can share their information and then can uh, uh, share their insight so in multi step flow concept uh, there are many relay points that uh, where information can reach people directly from mass media to the audience and it can be second hand information sometimes it can be third hand information or sometimes it can be fourth hand information so many time the information reaches to the mass audience and all together uh, maybe in a different form because uh, the opinion leaders can alter the message according to their ideology and according to their own convenience so everyone who passes the information adds his own or her own interpretation to uh, so that it can give a new meaning to the messages so but in conclusion the multi step flow can be seen in today's networks to society some people may receive messages directly from the mass media and some other may uh, receive messages from their opinion leaders uh, and uh, uh, you know their fears so they may exchange ideas uh, with their peers and they can send their feedback to the opinion leaders and again in turn to the mass media with this i'll conclude today's session we'll come up with another concept in our next class thank you thank you for watching